to the children of Israel to tell them to go back to the worship of God and to follow the law which Moses came with. And that's, that's what we believe Jesus was sent for. But we don't believe Jesus said, I am God. No, I don't believe in that. Yeah. I try to move away from that. Yeah. You know why? Because when Jesus, he prayed, yeah. we would say he's praying to God. Yes. And you know, for example, when we pray, it's, it's, when a person prays, it's for what, either this or for this. I'm, for I'm asking for something. I need something from God. Or I need some difficulty or hardship to be removed. So the one who prays, he's showing that he's in need of God. He's, yes. he's dependent upon God. It's, it's like the, the, the highest form of worship to call on God. So yeah. when Jesus does that, that would for us say he can never be God. Yeah. Because you don't pray to yeah. get something. You should always pray yeah, yeah. all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is how I yes. look at it. You yeah. must pray all the time. It's not to say, oh, I'm going to pray to Allah to get this yeah, because yeah. I want that. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. I don't believe it. I pray no. all the time. But even, even for example, when I pray, like we just prayed now because the, the sundown prayer. Yes, yeah, sunset. Even if I'm not after something material, I'm still praying because I want God to have mercy on me. Yes. I want God to take care of me. So yes. e even not like a, a payment, but no. just for the fact of I'm, I'm submitting myself to God. Yes. But my point is, if Jesus prayed, then he can never be God. Never. Yeah. And that is what I'm getting mixed up about. So that's well, it. I'm getting there. I'm getting yeah. There. And, and you believe after him another prophet came, the prophet Muhammad? Yes, another prophet, yes. Because we would say if you look at his life, when you look at his dealings, when you look at his call, you can yes. see, okay, this is the same as Moses, Abraham, Noah, Jesus. Noah, yes. God is one. God. And submit yourself to God. To God and yes. then you will have peace and tranquility in this life. And when we leave this world and we return to our Creator, because we followed the way he wanted, he wanted he'll yes. be pleased with us. So that's what we're saying that all the messengers came with. Yes, because I even went to Morocco and it opened my eyes. Okay. I went to Morocco. They okay. There. They prayed just like here, but over there was so much stricter than here. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I went there for one week. Okay. Just to look, to just see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they were talking to me and they said, why you don't turn about them? You know a lot, you know a lot. Yeah. I spoke and I went there all on my own. Okay, that's and good. And my parents was a bit funny about it, but I tell them, I, I must know what I want. Okay. So, see? if, if, you, if you, you seem to agree, is there something which is holding you back from Islam or there's, like, there's some distance and is there something which you need to cover, which you want to find out more? I want to find out a little bit more, but I know my parents because well, I'm not thinking about that because I must know where I want to go. Yeah. That is how I see. Yeah. I'm not going to take respect them, but I must know where yeah, I yeah, want yeah. to go. Yeah. You see? Yeah. But, uh, I'm, I'm no, up on it. In, in the Quran, there's a chapter. It's very nice. Uh, chapter thir 31. It's about, it's, the chapter is called Luqman. He was a, a righteous man from before. And in there, it mentions concerning you know your parents yeah 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 can i show you the verse if you don't mind yeah, yeah, go on. so it mentions what, what you're saying about respecting yeah. the parents it's a, it's a very nice verse uh so it's chapter 31 and it's known as Luqman, who was a, a, righteous a righteous man from the past but allah in the last book the quran allah kept this story for the benefit of mankind uh -huh. so it mentions with uh, Luqman libnihi. So it's basically Luqman's giving advice to his son. Yes. So it says, and when, when Luqman, he said to his son, So the first thing he said, he said, Oh my son, do not make any partners with God. Do not worship anything alongside God. Do not give anything attributes of God or compare God to anything. Because this uh, making partners with God is the greatest of evil yes. uh, or it's the greatest of oppression sorry then it says uh, we lost the page bear with me okay then it mentions this is the point I want what you brought up well, Allah says in the Quran and he has ordained upon mankind that towards their parents, you know, how they should yes. be righteous towards their parents. Their parents Particularly, yes. his mother, she carried him. 
yeah. you know, and she carried him in a state of weakness upon weakness. Yeah. You know, the, the mother when she's carrying for that nine months. For that nine months. It's a very yeah. difficult time to so mention. Yeah. Oh, so you know, yeah. I know, I you know, know the hardship. Yeah, the hardship. Yeah, because my wife has had, alhamdulillah, I have children, so I've seen, but obviously, as a man, I can't tell. No, you can't. But you know yeah. the difficulty, the waking up in the night, yeah. You can't, you know, the feeling it's sick. Hours yeah, yeah. Labor. Yes, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. It's not something that uh, yes. I don't think we, we men could take. So it mentions, so the Quran is mentioning that your parents, particularly your mother, you know, she carried you in a state of weakness yes. upon weakness. And then after that, you know, the, the suckling period, yes. you know, it goes up to two years. To two years yes. So sometimes when the men were sleeping, the woman, she knows she wakes up in the night, maybe three times, four times, feeds the baby. So the Quran is mentioning this. So it says, be grateful to your parents. And to me, to God, is your return. Then it, this is the point I wanted to mention. Where it says, But if your parents, they try to force you, yeah. to worship gods other than me which you have no knowledge of yeah. then do not obey them but then it mentions but be good with them in this world so, yeah, so, so for example me I became Muslim yeah. my parents are not Muslim but I have to respect them I have to obey them I have to serve yeah. them but I can't say oh because they follow this religion I have to follow it if they I worship follow yeah it. yeah but, so, but it still says, but live with them in a good manner, yeah. And what's a bit sabila man anab But follow the path of those people who have repented and have turned to God. So, so this is the message of Islam. It's, I mean, it continues, but the most important thing is to worship God alone. You respect your parents, you take care of your parents. Take care of them, yes. But you have to follow the right way. The right way, yeah. yeah. And then that's the only thing in our parents, that's the only thing. Yeah. It's giving me headache at the moment. It's, it's very interesting, you know, if you, if yeah. you keep reading the Quran, it, the scholars mention there's so many verses where it says, worship God alone, Lord. don't make any partners, and be good to your parents. So it's in the, in the Quran, in many places, it always comes to one after the other. One after the other yeah. But the rights of God comes first. Because he's the one who gave us our parents. Yeah. He's the one who gave us everything. So we have to have respect. So, right? so, have to respect. Yeah. so I would say with all due respect, if you believe Islam is true, you should accept it. You should embrace it. And that, but that still doesn't mean that you are you've turned away from your parents. You still no. look after your parents. You, you still take care of your parents. Yeah. And the thing is, if you have this truth with them, with you, then you have to convey it to them as well. Yeah. That's the. Yeah, yeah. I just coming from the the living of Norwich. Okay. So I just spend the weekend there, a couple of days with them. Okay, that's really good. Yeah. But so yeah, I that's... went to Morocco and it didn't open my eye. Okay. It didn't open my eye. Okay. So is that, do you have any other questions or anything? No, I was writing. You're here Saturday. We're here Saturday. I'll write down everything. Okay. Yeah, please I'll write do. Write and I will come and then you could tell me blah blah. Yeah. Can I just say one last thing? Uh -huh. Because we don't want to pressure anyone. No, 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 they don't pressure me. No. Yeah. No. But in the Quran, chapter, I'm not going to scare you, don't worry. In the Quran, in the. Uh, you can get the recording as well, but it's chapter 2, uh -huh. verse I, 256. Okay. Allah, He says something very, I find it amazing, very beautiful. He says, yeah. He says, there is no compulsion in religion. in religion. I can't force you what to believe. No. I can't stop you from believing what you believe, the same way you can't force me. Maybe yeah. physically, but you know what we believe in our heart. Yeah. You can't force it. But then the Quran goes, Allah goes on to say, but the truth is clear from error. If, if we have to accept the truth and we're going to be judged by this, it should be clear. It should be yeah. easy to understand. So that's the message. Yeah. I believe in the prophet. Yeah. I, 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 I think you're ready to become Muslim, but it's 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 uh, up to you. I will come back here Saturday. Okay, no problem. And I'll write down whatever question I think is bothering me. No problem, madam. Yeah. Okay, right. thank you, brother. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time. Saturday. Okay, all, all right. the best. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye bye.
class. Did you pray or? Okay. Uh, 